Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Steinauer. I thought I'd talk to you about a topic that's just something we really overlook. It's so simplistic, it's talked about all the time, and yet we don't really do videos about it very often. But let's talk about myopia, which is a case of nearsightedness or not seeing as clearly at distance. Now, before I go into details about this, let me tell you how you can connect with us. If you're local, call us at 618-288-1489. If you're not local, go to our website, visionforlifeworks.com. Two choices. You can either click on the schedule a consultation button or you can follow through by um, working through a questionnaire. And that will kind of get you in the loop of being emailed by us and connecting with us down the road about how we might be able to help you. So let's talk about how myopia individuals will tend to bring their depth of focus in too far and they lose their ability to throw their focus out farther away, which is why they become what we call nearsighted. It means we see better at near. If I take my glasses off and look up close, everything's like perfectly clear at a certain distance for me. But to look at things far away without my glasses, it's kind of big and blobby. Although again, not that bad for me as what it used to be because I've worked on reducing my prescription a lot. So in myopia control, when we're trying to reverse it, which no matter what anyone says, you actually can reverse myopia. How much? Kind of depends on you. Kind of depends on how much time you want to put into it, how much effort you want to put in it, and also the length of time that you're willing to work on it. Because I've been kind of reducing mine over the course of years, and I've been very successful at it. We're also really successful in helping our patients, whether they are children or adults, to reduce their myopia. But we have to teach the individual who's myopic and who has shifted their focus in to kind of shift their focus back out, so to speak. And so learning how to throw the focus back out, learning also how to accept what we call blur acceptance, which means that when you look off at distance, you don't need to see everything totally crispy clear. You can kind of allow a little bit of blur to be there, coexist with it until we can teach you how to be clear with that. And then we kind of keep reducing the lens prescription backwards or down. So that's part of what we do. We also use um, Syntonics, which you know I talk about all the time and I'm always showing my filters. In fact, I have them right behind me, but I'm not gonna grab them out for this video. You've watched so many of my videos by now that you know what Syntonics are. But we use them to electrically re kind of program the brain how to process vision. And in this case, we're also teaching the brain how to kind of refocus things and learning how to shift focus out with Syntonics. And it's super, super powerful. Now we are also doing other things with our program because Syntonics is like phase one and then phase two is kind of more of a hands-on, making sure that individual individually each eye can focus and do what it needs to do so that when we put the system together and we get you to relax your focus and shift it back out we're highly successful in doing that and helping you to reduce your lenses now if this is something that you would be interested in doing or maybe you want to do this for your child and you're local call us at 618-288-1489 if you're not local go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com either click on the questionnaire and fill that out for us or you can click on a consultation button and schedule a direct consultation time to meet with me and we'll talk about how we can help you. Now, if you like the video, hit that like button, subscribe by hitting the bell icon so you get all notifications of our videos that we put out. And if you feel like this would be beneficial to someone, maybe you have a friend who's been talking about reducing their glasses prescription, please pass it on. Thank you.